It looks like AI and vibe coding are going to create a lot of opportunities for hackers as well as security researchers, people who are looking for bugs or hacking websites, etc. We have dodgy code being released by people who vibe code, lots of security vulnerabilities in that code. But we also have Cursor's AI code editor enabling silent code execution via malicious repositories. This is from the Hacker News website. So security weakness has been disclosed in the AI powered code editor cursor that could trigger code execution when a maliciously crafted repository is open using the program. This is because an out of box security setting is disabled by default, which opens the door for attackers to run arbitrary code on users computers with their privileges. What could go wrong? Cursor ships with workplace trust disabled by default. So VS Code style tasks configured with run options, run on open folder, auto execute the moment a developer browses a project. A malicious VS Code tasks JSON file turns a casual open folder into silent code execution in the user's context. So this means that an attacker can have a project on GitHub or somewhere else and include a hidden auto run instruction that instructs the IDE to execute a task as soon as a folder is open, causing malicious code to be executed when the victim attempts to browse the booby trapped repository and cursor. So this means that there's the potential to leak sensitive credentials, modify files or serve as a vector for broader system compromise, placing cursor users at significant risk from supply chain attacks. So to counter this, it's advised that you open untrusted repository in a different code editor and audit them before opening them in a tool. But remember the idea here is that you're gonna vibe code. You don't need to learn to code. I don't think I agree with that. I think a vibe hacking is gonna take off hugely and is it ready. Vibe coding, not sure I think it's gonna do so well, but what do you think? I mean, do you think vibe hacking is the future? I actually think there's gonna be huge opportunities for black hat hackers as well as white hat hackers to find vulnerabilities and leverage those. Hopefully the white hats win here, but this is not looking great. I mean, in another example, Claude can inadvertently expose projects to security risks, including instructing it to ignore vulnerable code through prompt injections, causing developers to push malicious or insecure code past security reviews. I mean, this to me is just like a can of worms. But have a look at their website for more details. Um, but what do you think? Vibe coding the future or is vibe hacking the future?